Hi, this is Jerry Smith, Viper Sales Engineer at Threat Track Security, and in today's video, we're going to discuss agent deployment configuration and options in Viper. Now, you're going to want to familiarize yourself with the manual and a couple of KB articles that discuss agent deployment. The manual is located on the product page under documentation, the administrator guide, and chapter two covers agent installation options. There are also a couple of KB articles, one called how to install a Viper business agent, and the other one, what are the minimum requirements for agent push deployment. You'll notice for a push deployment, we do need to have administrative credentials and a good line of communication between the Viper console and the target machines and that includes you know configuring WMI file and print sharing etc and I can show you some of those settings here real quickly if you'd like you can leave your firewall enabled and we can just click on the advanced settings and make sure we enable a rule for WMI in in addition we can go over here and turn on network discovery and file and print sharing once we have that done we should have a clear line of communication uh, to provide for agent installation options so a couple things you can pre-configure before doing any kind of configuration. One of them is enabling endpoint discovery. So this allows Viper to be able to find computers that don't have Viper already installed. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we have some agent installation credentials supplied here. And these are admin credentials that would work on any box within your environment. Additionally, we can go into a policy here and configure uh, Active Directory queries or searches via IP range, subnet, or machine list. And we can also enable automatic agent deployment by policy. Now there's a few other ways that we can uh, perform agent installation. One way is to go over to the agent installation menu here and we can create an installation package. Another way is to access the agent installation wizard. Now with the wizard we can choose what type of device we want to deploy an agent to, what policy we would like to use, and one type of installation we'd like to do. If we want to do a roaming agent installation package, we can give it a shelf life and limit the number of installations allowed. We can create an installation package, and that's just going to be an MSI package, or we can do a push installation from the console. And note again that this has a link uh, to point you back to those minimum requirements. Something I want to point out here is that Viper can actually remove the incumbent software, what we consider to be incompatible software. Um, you'll see on this list here, number of different products. If your product or product version is not on this list, go ahead and contact our support team and they'll get your product added on. Now I'm going to go ahead and install via a push installation right here from the console. As you'll notice on my unprotected computers tab, I've already found a bunch of machines that do need a Viper agent installed. And I'm just going to go ahead and click install now on one of these. It's going to ask me what policy I'd like to use. I'm going to select a policy from one I've already created. I'm going to select the type of agent. Okay, We'll go ahead and click OK and start the installation. You'll see that the installation status is going to progress here. It'll first install a micro installer, then it will download uh, the package and install. So this covers agent deployment with Viber Business Premium. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please do feel free to contact our technical support team right here in Clearwater, Florida anytime. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we hope that you enjoy Viper and have a super fantastic day.